Hey guys and welcome back to another After Effects tutorial. Today we'll be starting a new series called Motion Graphic Tips and this will be episode 1 where, we'll be, we, where we will be looking at the graph editor. Now the graph editor is one of the most useful things in, in After Effects and it's one of the mistakes that many young motion graphics uh, designers do. So if you don't use the graph editor, watch this video now. Because So without further ado, let's get started. And I can see here in my composition right here, I have created a 60 frames a second composition uh, with four squares. And basically they are just move moving from left to right. A simple keyframe. Now this looks really, I don't know, it's not that interesting. There's not much life to it. It's just really abrupt and static. So let's see if we can change this up a little bit. So let's select the first one, a close number one. And let's actually, let's leave that as the, the control. We can compare that to the simple one. So click number two and highlight the keyframes. Now click F9 or we can right click, keyframe assistant and easy ease. This basically makes a a slight increase and decrease in speed. So if you watch it now, let's see if we can do that again. You can see it slowly increases and then slowly decreases, makes it a more realistic thing. So if we get rid of the, if we hide everything else and watch it, it actually looks decent. You can actually see some life and it looks presentable unlike the abrupt motion. So what we'll do is highlight the the first one, the first two keyframes for the first square. And let's go into the graph editor and see how it looks. So make sure that you're looking at edit speed graph and click on fit all graph to view. So you can see it's just a single line. Now, if I zoom out a little bit, these dots here, each of these dots represent one keyframe. So this is keyframe and there's a line there because it is moving at a constant speed there is no increase there is no decrease there is no life now in contrast let's look at the easy ease one let's look in the graph editor and here you can see a total different image you can see a hill and when it's going upwards you can see it's going upwards that means that the speed is increasing when it's going downwards it means the speed is decreasing unlike the first square in which there was no decrease or increase it was just abrupt motion now we've got that let's let's look at another one let's highlight these make that easy ease by clicking f9 and turn that on and turn off number two and let's go into the graph editor so you can see it once again it's simple has a gradual increase and a decrease now, what if we wanted to do something where um, it speed, it's really fast at the start and then it slows down? So to do this, click on the first one, one of the keyframes and we can, like that, we can actually drag these handles to change the values. So let's drag this handle on the left to the left, and this one on the left as well. So you can see it, now it looks like a slope that is that starts off really high so when it's high that means that it's a really high speed so it starts off at around 15,000 pixels per second and it slowly decreases to around zero and it's it's just it just goes really fast to start with no increase at all and then slowly decreases this is pretty cool because if you watch this now as you can see right there it looks in my opinion it looks really cool so, watch it again. Compared to the first one, it looks pretty cool. Now for the last one, we'll click F9 again. Go into the graph editor, make sure it's editing the speed graph. And let's make it gradually increase. So let's drag these handles to the right. And what that does, is it creates a slope that starts off really slow. So it goes really slow, slowly increases, and then goes really fast down. 
Uh, let's just turn on that. Get rid of that. So if we watch this now. So you can see it's kind of abrupt. Bang. It just slowly increases and then bang. I'm talking about the bottom one right here. Now, it's a little too abrupt for me. So I'm actually going to drag. Drag this one right here a little to the left. To the left. That way it kind of smooths thing out. Smooths thing out. Not much, but you know, it's a little different. So now if we watch them all. They all have different speeds and all have the same keyframes. Now this is so useful in everything you do. Every keyframe that you do, you have to use a graph editor. Like it just makes a massive difference and it's one of the most common mistakes ever. Now, one thing I want to show you, the last thing I want to show you is go to your first one, the one with static motion, turn everything else off and make that quick F9, go into the graph editor. And let's say you want to have exact values. So to do this, just double click on the first keyframe. And in the outgoing velocity, you can change the influence or something that you like, say 50%. Double click on the second keyframe and change the incoming velocity to around 50% as well. Now this is just if you want to have, let's say, more precise values. And this does nothing but basically exaggerate the easy ease and easy out. Anyways, so I'm, I know most of you should know graph editors by now, considering how useful it is. But for those who are just starting out, this is something that you should learn and try to master it. So thanks for watching guys. Please subscribe, comment, show, show me that you're active and like the video. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.